really is something I looked at. Man, this is sick. Okay, now how proud is this? This has been put together well, man. Definitely feels like it comes from Ford like this. Man like Shan. How we doing, brother? How's it going, bro? You good, Ricky? First man in the unit, first yeah, feature. Yeah, man, I'm liking it, man. I'm liking it. Yeah, nice. no, thank you, man. So you've come down in a Mark III Focus RS Estate. So yes, this is a yes. car not built by Ford, obviously. No, no. This is your no. own creation. Yeah. There's been a lot of hype of this estate stuff recently, isn't there? Like the M3 Touring and obviously they're Yeah, back quite to a few people have noticed on the M3 estate and even yeah. BMW's caught on now. They missed the trick yeah, there. So yeah. they've, they've caught on there now as well, so you've built this car from scratch would you say yeah me and my mate built it from scratch we bought it as a rolling shell ford focus st it was picked it up for facebook marketplace uh, as a rolling shell got it into the garage stripped it all off got it on the ramp got all the running gear off checked the platform of it and it, 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 it looked like it was doable it was easy enough task to do what's the car that you used st you used an focus st, yeah? ST yeah. okay so were the panels the same or were they different like um wings mm. and fenders the, and stuff the, the front end's pretty much the same i mean uh, even if you the only difference on an RS and an SD is the bumpers and stuff like that, okay. visually to look at. Yeah, Mechanically, right. the suspension set up, the, obviously the four-wheel drive, the diffs, gearbox, engine, it's all different. Engine as well, yeah? Yeah, engine a wow. lot. Wow, so you've done everything. So, and how does it drive? Well, I think it drives better than a Mark III wow. hatchback. And you say because it's a little bit heavier, it's yeah, it's longer heavier, wheelbase. It's, it's wider, it's yeah. heavier, it's longer. Uh, and it, it, it's more planted on the road. This has been modified uh, engine-wise, performance, tuning and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, it's stage two. Uh, the, the boys down at Remap WM done a live map on it. We've got an AirTech intercooler on the front. I did have a mountain induction kit on it. I've changed it to Ram Air. I might change it back. I've got a sports cat on it, Scorpion straight through exhaust. What's it putting out then, horsepower-wise? Uh, horsepower-wise, they claim it's 430-ish, but I'd say I'd put it down to about 415, but yeah. on the rollers, it did make more, so I mean, but I, I'll go off actual road you know to the wheels kind of thing manual gearbox manual yes they manual. only come manual the RS, they right? only come manual yeah. yeah yeah guys if you look at the finish on this i don't know if the cap uh, camera's picking it up but it's flawless like every last detail has been done i did have forge wheels on it originally mm. and i thought because i built this based on a concept picture i had of a concept car right. so i wanted to keep it original as possible you know something that ford would build because mm -hmm. this is tuning they've done they've done a few a company over in ukraine yeah and that's the fellas I bought the, the rear bumper and the rear spoiler off. Okay. I wanted to keep mine close to factory looking as possible. That's why I've, I've, I've stuck with the colour as well. I've left it. I was going to change it to nitrous blue. And yeah, yeah. Was it a big job, like, time-wise? Time-wise, we weren't so big. I mean, like I say, we started from the front. Engine, mechanics, all the wiring looms. Worked our way backwards. The, the, the hardest part was the fabrication work for the back suspension, the way the suspension sits, because mm -hmm. on an estate, the shocks are mounted on the outside, on the hatch, they're mounted on the yeah, inside. Saying, so yeah. Luckily, I mean, I know Andy at AUSG, the Ford Centre, and uh, he's broke a few of these. He had loads of bits and bobs. Focus City as well, that's another breakers that we used to get various bits and bobs off them, and uh, it all come together lovely. And you're saying, what, about five months did it take to Yeah, do? five months. started in the March, and we weren't on it every single day, but mm. we did spend like three, four days a week on it. Uh, my mate just locks himself in the unit, Terry, and uh, just cracks on. With it. <laughs> he, lo he loves all Terry, that. yeah. You've done everything, literally, like the doors you say, and you've got the um, what are these? The protectors. Door the edge doors? protectors, yeah. So these just eject out, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, so they eject out when you pull the door open. When you close it, they go in themselves. Wow, uh, sick. And then you've got the shell back you're saying as well from yeah, the RS. Yeah, the shell back seats. Had the steering wheel done in Alcantara. Wow. Um, same with the gear knob and gator with the stitching. I've updated the back end. I've put the 3.5 back end on it. Yeah. The later lights, tailgate. So I changed it up so it looks more modern. Mm. Uh, fits in better as well with, with, with all the RS and that. All right. Uh, sure. Shall we jump out? Take it for a spin? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So guys, this is the last video, I think, just before lockdown. I don't think there's going to be any more filming, which I'm pissed off about. I'm trying to go back in with the features. Man like Shan, getaway driver. <laughs> it's based on a Focus ST so that's a good car in general anyway isn't yeah. it it's not like you're working off a 1.9 TPI yeah. or something is it <laughs> yeah. how long have you been running the car then like this so about six months I've done a stage one on the first yeah then we changed the intercooler changed the induction kit for stage two uh, 
a sports car on it, messing about with it, you know, just see where we get. Definitely gonna go for more power. I mean, I've already in, in talks with Matt Lewis Motorsport. He's the man if you need a big engine build or just a reliable engine build, he's the yeah. man to see for Fords. Okay. And uh, he's got a stage two block there. Uh, ready pretty much go with this two litre block rather yeah because uh, they're a better block stronger block than the 2.3 right so the ST engine or ST two litre petrol engine yeah right. the block reliability wise you sorted all the teething problems basically yeah 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 I mean, as of now it's kind of cool like, yeah no. these, 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 they, they weren't really any teething problems it was just like the right spacers to get the wheels sitting right flush with the arches. I bought three different sets of spaces. I went through yeah. different sets of springs to get it to sit right, how I want it, just mm. how, how, I, how I imagined it and how I pictured it in my head. And obviously these cars are gonna be fairly reliable. There was an issue with the engines though, wasn't yeah, the there? Earlier, yeah, the earlier ones of these, uh, they had a problem with head gaskets that were going on them. Yeah. And they were under recall and stuff. Right. But before I, we even put this engine in, we, we, we looked it all over, checked it all out. Nice new head gaskets, everything. So I mean, the last thing you wanna do is build a car, put it all together, and the head, gas head gasket shot or something else has gone on it mechanically but to be fair they are fairly reliable the mark mm -hmm. I've got a separate car that's running like 440 inch brake and I've had it for like a good year now running that kind of power and that's basically an RS so. yeah an RS yeah. yes it's never given me no problems never given me no issues yeah they have stupid little problems like the valves get stuck on the exhaust and you can't select the drive mode and just little things like that square WD40 sorts of like that but I've deleted the, the exhaust um, valve on this because we put the scorpion exhaust on it so that that's all out the window I mean, we get some nice bushes at the front yeah we've got the perfect exhaust pitch at the back as well so nice to see a six-speed manual box there man yeah, yeah and you mentioned nice. that ford you they're planning to put it in their dealership possibly we've spoken to one dealership they've been in touch with my mate terry they've already seen it once but they uh, wanted to call us back in and then they want to put it on one of their stands Mine's in an RSSD, you know. <laughs> that sounds sick. It's a responsive throttle, isn't it? Fifth mode, everything. Oh, wow. Short steering lock as well. Immediately yeah. notice that. It's got launch? Yeah, it's got launch. You're going to launch it. What about the drift mode? It's got drift mode as well, yeah. Right. Does it work? <laughs> of course it works, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds sick. Yeah, you get it? <laughs> it's got a short shift, doesn't it? Yeah, and it's got a shift light as well on these. So if you... If you Go right through the rev range, you'll see RS flash up on the dash. Wow, man, look at that. Nice it handles. It feels very responsive, the throttle. Yeah. There's always, I thought they used to feel a little bit lazy, innit? Obviously, it's standard. That's, that's the tune waking up. Obviously. Yeah, this is it. Standard one of these. Is that, it's, it's rubbish, you know, out the box. They, they've got a lot of potential, these cars, but obviously, when they come from the factory, they just need waking up, if you know what I mean. No, no, 100%. And uh, you know what? This feels like it's wearing like aftermarket suspension. Yeah. That front response is probably does feel like it handles better, doesn't it? Than yeah. man. Sick. This moves, boy. <laughs> I wonder what the weight is. Do you know what this, the weight of the RS is? The hatchback? No, nah, not really. Not really. It's something I looked at. Man, this is sick. Okay, now how proud is this? This has been put together well, man. Definitely feels like it comes from Ford like this. Revs up, boy. <laughs> you look at the speed, are you travelling? Bloody fast, man. Man, this is a perfect amount of power, you know that? Yeah, just right, and it just right, yeah. Guys, the steering and uh, like, like the steering wheel itself is nicely weighted, it inspires a lot of confidence, definitely. So, this is obviously an expensive job because you've had to get another RS. Yeah, we got a Cat B one, and uh, a lot of the bits we used the drivetrain off it really, and everything else was smashed to crap. And the, some of the loom was cut as well, so we had to buy a load of stuff as well. And yeah. you know, it's just one of them things where we ain't done it before, you live and learn, don't you? Usually I'd spin it round and go back, but I just want to continue driving. Tiniest bit of torque steer, tiniest bit. You know, you flow flat. But driving it, you wouldn't know you're in an estate, would you, Rick? No, no way.
that's some fucking need for speed signs coming out the front. Considering it's a greasy road, yeah, uh, this could definitely do with a bit more power, couldn't it? As in, yeah, this is what not, I'm saying. Not, I mean, not, not that it feels slow, but it feels like it could manage. Yeah, it can do. Power. It's capable. That's, it's definitely capable. Definitely, of more. this car don't feel like it's on its limit or anything. It's swallowing this power up. So you say next, you plan to build the engine and uh, maybe bigger turbo? Yeah, yeah, like I said, I mean, we've already spoke to Matt Lewis. He's got blocks there ready to go in. So yeah. it's just how much really power I want to go up to. I was, I was, I'll, I'll be happy with about 600 brake out of it, but. Fucking hell, man, that's, that's, that's a lot of horsepower, mate. You need to do that. It's a uh, company's already achieved that on a Mark III. You've done a very, very good job, man. Um, probably it's been a while since I've like reviewed cars and that, but let me tell you that I am over the moon with how this thing drives, you know that? But it's seriously special. This is definitely like, it feels like a complete car. Yeah, it's something that Ford really should have, should have, should have built somewhere like this really and truly. 100%. You're the only one that owns this car. Yeah, well in this country, <laughs> yeah. I mean like I say, in Ukraine they've done a couple over there, but um, as far as I know over here, it's the only one. The clutch, yeah. yeah. WM done the mapping uh, and Matt Lewis Motorsport he'll be doing the build on the uh, on the new engine also that the, the car's got its own uh, Instagram page which I'll leave you the link for bro I don't know obviously right about now we're just about to head into lockdown so I've got to be a bit careful with filming but I'm sure there's a way around that we can do these uh, car features safely so yeah see you later guys bye <laughs>